is Slide Into Your DMs. The podcast about sex, love, and dating. In a digital world. With Brian McDuffie and Maggie Mayfield. Yeah. All right, enough of that. How's your life going? A uh, couple of things that I want to tell you about. All right, all right. Okay, so this guy that I've been in love with for like two decades now. God bless. Oh, I know. Uh, I'm so over it, and I don't know how to get him out of my life at this point. Wait, why? Exactly. Sure? After two decades? Why? Yeah, well, listen, I've been doing so much therapy um, and work on myself. Nice. He, I called him because I needed to process something that happened, and all my list of girlfriends weren't picking up, and so I got to the bottom, and I was like, now what do I do? And so I called him, and he picked up the phone like this. He goes, oh, my God, somebody I really want to talk to. And I was yeah. like, are you okay? Wait, he, like he was crying? And that's why I said, I said, and he goes, yeah, why? And I thought, well, either you're crying or you just finished a line of Coke. Yeah. And he goes, oh, it was the ladder, which like felt really weird. I was Wait, like, he sniffed the ladder? A line of Coke. What do you mean the ladder? Oh, he did the second of the, the ladder. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, why the fuck is the ladder involved? I was really confused. Cocaine makes you want to climb? I don't know. What's I don't right, know. Right. But so it felt weird. Know. Then to come figure out through the conversation, I, listen, I don't care what you do. If you do drugs, I don't care. I don't typically surround myself with people that do a lot of cocaine. But in any case, uh, come to find out, not only did he have company over when he picked up the phone, but his son was in the next room. I was oh, like, shit. yeah, that's weird. It yeah. just, it was a... Uh, Kind of ucky and triggering. Oh, she got the ick. Yeah. After four, 20 years. I know. Got four the days ick. later, he messaged it. He texts me and he says. Can I come live with you? No. He, <laughs> says, he says, my ex-girlfriend is filing an emergency protective order against me and my ex-wife is filing for emergency custody of my kid. Wait, so two different two orders? Two different women. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And I was like, this is a hot mess and I want nothing to do with it. I had to, I went in circles with my therapist yeah. yesterday. I was like, I don't want to be yeah. a part of this. You, you know, it'd be funny all. if you also filed a restraining order. <laughs> you so should. Just up. for the fun of it. Ugh. Yeah. And by the way, why do a lot of cocaine when you get us to a little bit of crack? I don't know. Fentanyl. <laughs> you know, well, that doesn't make any sense to me. I you know? Just bake that shit up. Do you do a high. lot of Coke? Is that what's happening? Coke? Yeah. Oh, baby, I can't afford no Coke. Okay. That's crazy, dude. That's why I like you so much. That's fucking crazy, <laughs> bro. I could have barely afford weed. That's the cheapest drug there is, you know? Ooh. Yeah. Wait, what's the second thing you got to tell me? Okay, and so then I was at a show, and this is wild. I think, yeah, I texted you about this. I was at a show. I was performing. I was doing my music thing. I was having the crowd yeah. going. They were singing. Everyone's this dancing. conversation feels like we're a swingers couple, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so then all of a sudden... Uh, and I knew he was coming, this fan of mine that I met one time. He was like, oh, I'm going to be at the UT game. I'm going to come see your show. And I was like, cool, that'd be so great, fun, you know. He's never made me feel weird online. It's never been inappropriate. So he shows up and he hangs out for like an hour and a half. And I was like, wow, he's here a long time. Like, I thought he would just stop in, have a drink and like leave. But he didn't drink the whole time, which was weird. Yeah, already. Yeah. And then I get done and he's just like sitting at the bar and I'm like, I got to clean up so the next act can get in. Are you going to come, come over and talk to me? Like, yeah. come and, on, and sir. Clean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just got to put yeah. my stuff away. Um, so he comes up and he hugs me and he's like, yeah, so good to see you. The game, blah, 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 blah. And then he hands me this bag and it says K on the side. And I thought, oh, okay. Maybe there's like, like K jewelers. K jewelers. And I thought, oh, well, maybe there's some like candy in there, or yeah. like oh, yeah. bath wash or something. Yeah. I, I just thought it was maybe a bag that he was reusing. I was like, well, thanks so much for this, whatever. And he leaves. He's like, I got to go on my parking. I was like, okay, bye. I open Brother, it. He proposed to you? No, 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 no. I open it. Yeah, there's the, there's the bracelet. I open it and it's this diamond bracelet. It is a diamond heart shaped bracelet. Two hundred and fifty dollars yeah. on sale now for one. Th Damn! I know. That is the first time I've ever gotten jewelry from a stranger. Isn't that crazy? I told my mom. She goes, "Oh my god, please be careful." Did you blow him? No. For one hundred and seventy five dollars? No. Bro, that's like two sushi dates. That's crazy, Maggie. That's what are you two? doing? I didn't ask for. I didn't. I. Did you let him buy you a drink at least? No, he left. That's what I'm he saying. He just left? He gave me the bag and he was like, okay, well, I got to go. My parking, I got to take care of my parking. I was like, okay. And I sat there and I opened it. I was like, what is this? Bro, maybe his love language is gifts. Well, I messaged him later and I said, thank you very much for that lovely gift. That was so extra. 
And then and then it got a little weird because then he started saying like, you it. deserve all these beautiful things. I would love uh -huh. to take you out to, to on trips and to lunches and you deserve all. And I was like, OK, I'm not going to respond anymore. What? Isn't that crazy? Baby, he wants to take care of you. You should mm -hmm. let him take. Is he attractive? No. So ugly? Kind of. Yeah. So ugly? Kind of. Yeah. Oh, man. Not even like doable if he puts a hat on or nothing. Do you want to see a picture? Yeah, uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Sadly. Uh, very nice. Like, I'd never felt awkward or uncomfortable. Well, let me tell you, he has two of three. Nice. Does he make you laugh at all? No. All right. Well, he's got one, money. So that's cool. Yeah. That's a positive. He well, wants to take care of you. He'll be so nice to you all the time. Oh, my God. I can't find it now. You know? That's scary. You might have to step on his wiener once in a while. Like, what do you do? Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Wear it. <laughs> Be grateful. <laughs> That's what I would do. I can't wear that. That's like a, a man repellent. A heart-shaped diamond bracelet. Yeah, cool. Who? Yeah, no one's going to want to date me. Uh, you, everyone sees your fingers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Everyone sees your fingers. That's true. You got to worry. It's the first thing we check for. Is it? Yeah, well, first thing I'd check for. Yeah, right. I feel like the necklace wouldn't necessarily deter a guy. Yeah. Well, you know? it's a bracelet. The bracelet. Bra 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 oh, that even makes it yeah. less than, yeah. I don't even notice that, really. Yeah, just be yeah. like, bitches, be wearing bracelets. Yeah. I look at the face, the booty, the fingers. Feet, tits, ass. Feet, tits, ass. Well, mine's fingers. Mine's fingers. Ah. Fingers, tits. <laughs> Finger. Fi mine's mine's opposite, actually. Mine's fingers, ass, face. Mine's faf. Faf. Oh, I'm a fat, done I'm tits. a fat guy. Been fat. That would have been fun. Fat. It is fat, fat now. We yeah. changed it, yeah. Yeah, just for, just for shits yeah. and gigs. Oh, damn, in real life, I guess it'd be face, ass, tits, fat. Yeah. Yeah. You want to know if a girl's fat or not? I actually kind of like them a little fat. No, I, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> the, ac the acronym. Not I'm real curious fat. to see this guy because, yeah, I mean. I can't even find his I don't know what you do at this point. I mean, I feel like you got to spell it out for him. You got to be like, yeah. this is Dude, never going to happen. Because at this point, like, you're fully aware now that he is going to keep giving you crazy gifts. Oh. No, that's what I'm saying. Like. <laughs> But if you're Maggie, not going to entertain him, I bought your trip to him, Fiji. Oh, I know. Yeah, but if you're going to entertain him, then you're just leading him on, which is kind of mean. I mean, dude, or you could be a pirate and take everything. And give I like that back. too, though. <laughs> you know, think about I, the, honestly, I think, dude, you never know. What if he's just the fucking your guy? You know, what if he's your match, personality-wise? You know, I think he stopped following me on all the social media. To now that I'm looking for it, damn, it's really funny. Damn, now that she got curved, she's like, I want him more than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I see it. I, see I need it. Him. The old Pete Davidson, yeah. huh? I want, I want right. a necklace Oh, my to God. Match. He posted me. He posted me. Okay. Oh, no. He posted you? What does that even mean? He posted a picture of the of, two of, of us. You. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. That's aggressive. Oh, man. This guy's lonely. Yeah. I can tell. <sighs> see he, what I mean? He takes selfies. Yeah. We can't put it here, in here. this thing. No, no I won't put it on. Pass it to her and pass yeah. it to me. We yeah. can't Bro, he looks like a Minnesota Vikings fan. Like he would just yeah, be a Minnesota oh. or like a Chiefs fan. Oh, you know? <laughs> could you see the loneliness? I can uh, see the loneliness. I, I can feel things. it. He's probably like in his mid forties. Yeah, you could just do it. Any he, man he that does just look like a Midwesterner. Yeah. Anyone that posts selfies of themselves, oh, either dude. crazy or crazy hot. Dude, yeah, yeah, but like you got to be like, as a dude, you got to be so hot you get paid for it. No, exactly. So he's selfies. crazy because he's yeah. not—he's definitely not crazy hot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. See what Thanks. I mean? Yeah, Thanks. yeah, yeah. Fuck, I wish you a man. Don't you wish a good-looking guy just gave you a diamond bracelet? He, there will be one day when that happens. Yeah. You think just out of the blue like this again? I don't know. I've gotten some weird stuff over the years. This is like by what? far Wait, whoa, 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 the, whoa, the craziest whoa. thing. Like what? Um. I'm trying to think. I used to work in radio, so people would like bring shirts, just merch, food. I would get a lot of food gifts. Yeah. You ever had someone gift you a dildo? No. <laughs> I like Not that smile. I can remember. Not that I can remember. If someone gave you a dildo, would you use it? No. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Maggie, check under the couch. We have a gift for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a reason you're on the couch. It's now the casting couch. <laughs> no, I knew someone one time that she worked at a bar, and someone just came up and just gave her a dildo. I was like, dude, that's fucking crazy, bro. You know, I have so many left over. I should just start doing that. 
I have no, so many from weird. my music video. No, you can't just give them to people. Why? I don't know. I feel like that's not a just a gift you give. You know, that's like a funny thing at a passion party. <laughs> You know, but those or are not a, serious. I mean, a, a white a white elephant is what I mean. You know, <laughs> there, yes, party. my mom used to passion parties. You know, yeah. Oh my god, my ex husband's mom did that too, and I'll never forget. Yeah, it was like the first time I met her. She lived in this really wide trailer. It was a big trailer. She just came into a lot of money from her divorce, and so she just had all of these sex toys. She's like, "Here, take all this." I was like, "This is really weird." Yeah, that was How many so did weird. You get? I mean, it must have been a box full of just stuff like cock rings and little vibrating things you ever use things like that yeah we tried it yeah it was fun you like them uh i remember having a good time yeah 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 i remember one time i used a cock ring and it was vibrating on my balls yeah right? and i don't it was too much you i don't know? think you needed vibrating though but like yeah it was a lot i was like there's a lot going on yeah yeah, yeah. you know after a while it was like, oh those sex toys taught me a lot of techniques though what do you mean well, like the whole point of a cock ring isn't to vibrate. It's to uh, it's to like squeeze her uh, like really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, guys yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, I didn't know do. that until yeah. I used one. So. Yeah, I had a, I was thinking about this the other day. I had a girl tell me she like really wanted me to choke her. Ugh. She was like like really like Mm-mm. double hand like like Ted Bundy like oh <gasps> like, get in there right and I was like. Why can't I just put a plastic bag over your head? <laughs> you know, I was like, it'll almost be the same thing. <laughs> you know. Oh my god. Yeah, and then when you're about to die, woof. <laughs> I can just woof. <laughs> you know. <laughs> What's the thing? Yeah, erotic asphyxiation. Is that what that is? Where like you yeah, choke yourself, tie the, tie the belt. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. No, n- never tried it. Never. We, never tried it. No. Yeah, I can't. No. I don't. Too risky. Do I women that. do that? I don't think they do. I mean, all don't all of you like getting choked? No. I mean, most I of do you. not. Most of you. Most of you like being wrapped with an E with consent. <laughs> you know? But that's how most of y'all with like to consent. get down. Yeah, with consent. You just want you to be like, I'm the one that's choosing this. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. Now punch me, Brian. <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, girls do have some weird fantasies. Yeah. One time I had a girl say, slap me. Uh-huh. And I really pulled back. You pulled? Oh, like yeah. you went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> like you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Momentum, then she was like, yeah, like, like the first James Bond, Sean Connery. Did Earl. you like it? Did I like it? Hitting her? No, no, no. Okay. No, I, it felt too much. She even like after, boom, she was like, what the fuck was that? I was, she was like, I said slap, not fucking beat me. Oh, you're like, what, harder? Yeah, Is that? I, yeah, and I was like, I was like <laughs> too much? And I was like, oh, my bad. I was just in, thought it was in the moment, you yeah, know? Yeah. yeah. What just happened to like doggy style when that was crazy dude that's nice then she don't gotta look at me you know <laughs> is that is that better <laughs> is that better fucking dude i hate it you hate doggy style like being on top oh I feel like you can feel my arm shaking is there a position you know? where it's like the best orgasm orgasm yeah like like here's why i think doggy style is weird because you're gonna come while you're standing and that's bizarre to me oh it's awesome is it yeah is it Okay. Makes me feel powerful. I like it. Oh, okay. You I know? don't know. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a weird I think it's a preference thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's like, I I bet it'd be pretty like skewed evenly if you surveyed like a hundred men. Okay. Yeah. You like, you like coming, laying down or standing up either way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both. Don't care. Yeah. Yeah. All as of long the as I come. Yeah. 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 I will say something new that's been weird is, is now my, my hair gets in my face during sex and that uh, sucks. Because I'm like, am I going to, do I need to start putting my hair up? Yeah, Which is just, that's gay. Yeah. Well, that's No disrespect. Now, now anytime you're going down, you could be about to to treat you. Yeah, I know, but that makes me feel so unsexy. But otherwise, (laughs) I just feel like a screamo, like heavy metal band just with my hair in my (laughs) face. (laughs) I can't breathe. It gets hot. I get claustrophobic. I get scared. (laughs) Fucking like Chewbacca, dude. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I did break. Out. I did break up with a guy because of his long hair. It freaked me really? out because we were laying down and we, we were kissing and his hair was in my face. I was like, Mm-mm, yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, it itches a little bit. I too. didn't like it. And yeah. then I'm self conscious about it now ever since. So when my hair is in a dude's face, I'm like, is it okay? Yeah. You guys like it though. Would you rather have? No, no, no. We don't like it. Oh. We tolerate it. You know? Is it really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for validating that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you rather have hair in your face <laughs> while you're doing it or a chain in your face? 
chain yeah 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 you know you never fuck to do with a chain <laughs> no and it just hits you in the face the whole time are you wearing a chain under there no 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 i, oh. I used to have a chain then i seen a bunch of white dudes wearing a chain and i was like i gotta take this off yeah 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 yeah, yeah. which one would you rather have Neither. <laughs> well, I mean, if you had to choose. I'm never having sex again. That's what's happening. <laughs> that question made you go celibate, that one. You know? I feel like I'm well on my way. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to ever happen again for me. Sex? Yeah. I'm so scared of that. <laughs> Why? Of, of a chain hitting you in the face? No, of like never having sex again. Oh, my God, your face. I'm confused. What do you mean? What if I hit my prime? Like, what if I'm done? What? What what's happening right now? Do you now? want to be done? No. Like, are you making this choice? That's what I'm saying. No. Because then it's you never see my done. Confusion, right? It's you never my, done. You see my confusion. <laughs> you don't get to choose. Like, you're a woman. You know, I don't get to choose. No, we don't get. To, you get to choose when you're done or not. You know. Yeah. I don't know about I, that. Has it fucking dried up yet? No. You can still have sex when it dries up. You're hitting that fucking metamucil. Yeah. You know. <laughs> You getting the fucking meta? Is that happening? Stop no, it. I just. Then who cares? Then who cares? Yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I agree with Brian. I think, I think a woman kind of gets to decide because even like nursing homes are crazy with fucking. Like the second the spouse dies, and then like there's, you know, when you're in your 40s and 50s, you're like a, you can be a quote unquote cougar, and that's a whole demographic. There's yeah. people whose wives die goes early. Up. Goes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Where never stops. Is. It makes Where America go print? around. You know. <laughs> It's our real. economy. It's our it's That's our, our biggest. Economy. It's weapons and sex. That's what we sell. Mm-hmm. You know. All right, all right, all right. So, at what age, really, realistically, you think you're gonna stop fucking? I don't know. I don't know. I heard just heard about that old people thing. I can't wait to be old. You know, that's gonna be great. Take your time getting it. Yeah. How do you die? Cancer? No, actually, uh, syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to go! I didn't know people died from that. Yeah, it was his choice. <laughs> I don't it's a know. Cool way to go out. Yeah. yeah. I like how you're saying you're done having sex. You just I had a man give I'm you done. a diamond bracelet y- for wh- free. Do you think that I want him to <laughs> put it in me? I don't know. With a condom, it's like barely even sex. Ew. You know? Uh-huh. It's really more like Thank a hug. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> you know? Thank you. <laughs> you. say a hug? It's like a hug. You, you deserve know? jail time just, for that. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> <laughs> just bodies touching, you know? I did say, I did tell you on the way over here that I thought about getting on the apps again last night yeah yeah, yeah. i didn't i'm so tired <laughs> yeah yeah are I you do, on the apps i'm on bumble just so i can why watch, just so i can watch them work you know that's why you like it yeah yeah because you there's no pressure no all of y'all have horrible pickup lines you they don't do? even try it's always just hey how you doing or just sometimes just hi oh it's like hey <laughs> you know like you're not gonna give me anything here try something you know oh yeah I just get so fr- yeah, I get so frustrated because it takes so long to meet. And yeah, it I hate sucks. That. It sucks. Yeah. And then real life, everyone thinks I'm a fucking serial killer. You're rap- too good looking. That's why. E, yeah. yeah. You know, so yeah. everyone's like, he kills women, so they just don't even want to talk to me. Well, all the best serial killers were good looking. So. Yeah, all the best serial killers. Um, I, I'd say there's only one good one. The Zodiac. I'd say the Fluger villain that we're experiencing right, right now is pretty good. There's one in Pflugerville? Yeah, the one on Rainy Street. That's Austin. It's not Pflugerville. I know, but Fluger villain is pretty funny. Flu- oh, Fluger villain yeah. is what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that, <laughs> actually. You. That's funny. Yeah, dude. I remember when that came out, my mom told me to be very careful. On Rainy Street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, he's murdering people your size. Yeah. Looking for people like you. I was telling people that in my Uber. <laughs> Guy, you can't do that. Three, three stars. Thirty two sixty five. He's looking for people like me. Come yeah. on, come on. It's white men. Yeah, but no one knows I'm white. I'm pretty ambiguous. Yeah. You know. Uh, are you? Da- what's going on with you? Nothing. No one's sliding into your DMs. No, I'm on. Yesterday, I took a girl on a date. <laughs> She, yesterday yeah yeah yeah. and she told me i'm an asshole what? she said i think you're like a good person but you're also just a fucking asshole why because i'm an asshole <laughs> you know no you're not why what were you lying about so i've already previously seen this girl and then you know just when did you have time yesterday been an asshole before the show we went to pizza yeah <laughs> is that why you were late yeah that makes sense. Yeah. 
So what did you lie about? Just, I'm just an asshole. No, know? you're not. What did you lie it's about? It's just, <laughs> I just, you know, I'm just like, I'm like Jordan. I keep my distance, you know. I try not to get, get too serious. I keep everyone here, you know. Just don't want to put that work in again. Give you a part of me, you know. Ain't no you just want to have that. sex, and that's yes, it. that's it. Okay, exactly. So you were leading her on. Yes. Okay, that's what you were lying about. Yes. <laughs> Told you, asshole. But also, I feel like I say that up front too, you know. Did you? Yeah, I give the whole fucking comedy spiel, you know. Like someone, I got an argument with a girl, right? And I was telling her, she's like, "What's the problem?" And I said, "I'm still in love with my ex girlfriend, right?" And she was like, like went off on me and she was like, why wouldn't you tell me that? How am I supposed to tell you that? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you think I want to tell you that? I can't, I can't say that out loud to you. That's crazy. You know? Yeah. That's fucking wild. You're like, why am I here then? I'm wasting my time. Yeah. Kind of, you know, but I can't tell you that. Because you want to get laid. I just, I'm just lonely. I just want someone to scratch my head, you know? Tell me I'm beautiful. Which is so funny because you're on Bumble and you're like waiting for it to happen for you. What do you mean? Like you're not willing to go out and do the work. No, if it happens, it happens. Oh, okay. You know? Ain't no one trying to when just When was like, the last time you had sex? What? <laughs> when was the last time you had sex? Fuck, let me do some math. Carry the two. Is it over for you too? Bring over the four. <laughs> Stop it. Fuck. Oh, you're still waiting for an answer? Oh, I don't know. A long time? No, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you had sex? Uh, August. This year, August yeah. this year. Okay, it was it was it wasn't that long. <laughs> yeah, Thanks. you know. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. Fucking dating's out here is rough, dude. Yeah. You know, I went on a date with that one girl, right? I was telling you about, mm -hmm. right? Different girl, right? God, I'm fucking ashamed of myself, dude. Why? I don't know. It's dirty. It's not dirty. Dirty. I'm a fucking. All right. Anyway, I went on a date with this girl. She started trauma dumping on me, right? You know, the, yeah, just everything. All the bad things that have happened in her life, uh -huh. right? Then she finds out my zodiac sign. Stop it. And now she's not texting me back. Oh, is this the girl that was like a Leo also? Yeah. Oh, no. That's crazy. Aren't you mad about it? A little bit, yeah. Because you put up with her trauma dump? All right, so I'm justified here, yeah. right? I'm like, you're telling me all this crazy shit, right? I'm still trying to just be nice, you know? Fucking telling you it's all right, you know? Yeah. Trying to give you some fucking, some love in your goddamn life, oh you know? God. Then I get curved. Do the holidays make it? hard to be single it's for the you worst is it not the worst it, it, I yeah. Ha yeah that's why i went on the stupid ass yeah exactly it's i, I just want to hug someone in the cold Same. you know yeah mm. yeah i feel you mm -hmm. brandon help <laughs> he can't help what do you want me to help talking about the apps i i get scared like i don't get scared me and eric are, are solid but i i could not imagine being single again because i feel like my life is so crazy right now yeah. and i have so much going on and i get yes whatever part of my life was directed towards erica would now be free but i couldn't imagine being like all right i gotta go on apps i gotta go swipe on people oh i forgot to respond to that message like okay can i try and work a date in here okay what night am i gonna go out and hunt for pussy like that's crazy i never i go to every bar and go like how drunk am i gonna get you guys have to go and be like is anyone looking at me how do i present myself <laughs> I don't think I think about that. Yeah, Deep down, I, you do. You hot, get hot, hot, hot. Yeah, but I mean, you know what I mean. It's like if uh, you were talking about earlier, like uh, with Jordan, like when a girl looked across the bar at him and like yeah. seeing people like that, it does. You know, you have to look out for that. Instead, I I, I just am like oblivious to it. Yeah, it's like does that person want to fucking fight me? That yeah, girl wants to square to. up right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you want, you dumb bitch? And she's like, you're yeah. cute. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm gay, so <laughs> I don't really know what to do for you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like dating got so hard, you know? Like, expectations are just ridiculously high now. Like, what? What is an And Jordan touched on, too. Everyone's trying to find their soulmate. Like, there's no more, like, no one's putting in work anymore, you know? Like, yeah. no one wants to have fun? Yeah, it's yeah. like, I think everyone wants it to be easy. Yeah. Like, it's just going to click, and they're going to be like, oh, God made me for you, you know? 
It's like, no, nah, it's like sometimes you got to put some work in, you know? Yeah, you got to build a friendship. Yeah, there's you no trust. giving it a shot. Like, people, it's it's either like, okay, do we instantly fall Nailed in it. love? No, then I guess we're just going to be like fuck buddies yeah. and that's it. And it's instantly like that or that. Yeah. There's no like, oh, you know, we kind of hit it off. We went on a date. It yeah. didn't work. A couple months later, we went on another date or two. And then we got a lot. Like, people don't want to put in that. Well, even this girl I was talking to was telling me, she's like, yeah, I'm talking to two other guys. That's normal. That's normal. And you're single until the conversation is had that yeah, you're no, not. Yeah, no, 100%. But that sucks still. You Why? Because then what if you're the one that doesn't get chosen? Then that, you had a good time meeting somebody. I guess. It still hurts your fucking feelings, though, you know? That's rough that every girl that in the back of your head you know is talking to, like, three dudes. Every dude I talk to I know is talking to, like, three other women. I feel like that's rare. Really? Yeah. I don't. I don't feel like everyone has one. This man bought you a diamond bracelet. Well, not you know? that guy, but... He, I bet you he would fucking give you 500 bucks to pay your socks. To smell your socks. I need more of those people in my life. I got art to make, and it's expensive. Yeah, fucking <laughs> hey, hit that guy up, dude. Ooh. You know, I bet you he'll fucking give you money for fucking showing your butthole or something, you know? Nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck, dude. I was remember Maggie earlier was I was saying that Maggie thinks every guy wants to date an older woman. Yeah. And I was like, no, every every guy wants to date an older woman and get paid for it, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah I mean that's definitely that's like the number one thing you're thinking. It's like the same yeah. way when a guy all of a sudden is like a girl's like, I have a twin, you're like, Ooh. You wanna bang your sister? Which is like an an insane thing. Hey, to that ask. wasn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like, yeah, the same thing with an old lady. Like you're like yeah. All right, like you might be into it, it might be hot for you, but there is a part, there's at least a little party that's like, what if she gives me money? I know, dude. What if I just sleep in her spare bedroom? She feeds me pimento cheese. Pimento cheese. They tell me that's not the fucking dream. Ritz crackers. Dude, that'd be great, wouldn't it? That'd be it? so good. You don't, she just feeds them to you. You don't even have to move. Yeah. You know? She hit, hit, fans you with like a fern leaf yeah. and shit, too. She just tells you nice things the <laughs> whole time. You, you know? Feeds you exotic oh. olives. Oh, Brian, you're I such a good too. boy. Yeah. You know? oh. yeah, yeah, these are blue cheese olives. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. fancy. Ooh, I like yeah. that. Yeah. I don't even like olives, but I mean, only I've prosciutto eaten, too. Know. Weird meat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Weird Uncured fancy salami. Meat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> now we're talking. Are we yeah. in a Renaissance painting right now? Uh, that's is... the dream. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That is the dream. We Laid should go out, to the Renaissance out. fair, guys. Dude, I heard they're actually fun <laughs> as fuck. They that's what we should bring. Slide in the like DMs on the road. At the Renaissance, at yeah. the Red Fair, slide in ye messages. Yeah, well, slide, in, slide ye scroll. in ye scroll. Messages. Slide in ye scroll. <laughs> hey, just two peasants here living the fucking dream. Hey, where's my goddamn leg, Shanker? Eh? That'd be good. <laughs> fucking hey, finally day off the farm. No, now I'm Australian. <laughs> God, dude, I Wait can't stay in English. It always goes to Australian. What do you think dating was like as a poor person? I don't think anyone dated in, back then. Well, I think they were, they were thirteen. You know, and they were like, hey, I need a wife, <laughs> you know, you really think I need like a partner and help or we're all going to yeah. die, <laughs> you know, and I she feel said, like... oh, all right, may I like to. OK, because before we started recording, we were talking about mirrors and yeah. like how society is so different. Now, 1835, that's yeah. when the mirror, mirror, that mirror we know it <laughs> was invented. Yeah. So before that, the only way you could look at yourself was in a pond. Yeah. Which I think is crazy. Yeah. It would have been like a spiritual moment, you know? So, like, do you think anyone knew what beautiful was? Yeah. I think people know what beauty is. I just think it's a human nature. I'm telling you, like, I take Brandon to the pond. I'm like, hey, Brandon, you want to see what you look like? He's 17. <laughs> he's finally blossoming into a – well, he's 12. He's finally becoming yeah. a man, you know? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, hey, Brandon, I'm like, you want to see what you look like? He's like, oh, boy, do I? I'm like, you want to see what I see? You know, and I take him to the pond. It's real still. He looks in there and I go, you see how fucking ugly you are, my Stop. God, you know? And he holds it's a whole... my head under the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should have did this when you were a baby. Oh. <laughs> I'll just play. Oh but yeah, God. dude, you know, how cool would that be? To be it, drowned by like your the father? First time okay. you, no. Because <laughs> you're hey, ugly. But now I'm your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, but I think that'd be fucking crazy. Because, like, looks were not even that big of a deal back then. It was like, it we, didn't you matter know, at all. it didn't matter. I mean, it did matter. Because they were making, Kings like. Were, it was more like, hey, who's the, who's the alpha male here? Who runs the village, you know? Right, like but they were using makeup out of, like, coal. That was a thing. I see Egyptians. No, but, I mean, in England, too, they were using makeup. Really? 
Yeah. The people that didn't. Even, oh, I guess yeah. They like didn't take powder? gas. They had to fucking yeah. use makeup. Huh? I don't yeah. think the poor people, like the slum people, were. Oh uh, no. no, us, no. our people, no. Yeah, like dude. being a peasant, it was literally probably like, you know, like your parents had like seven boys because all they did was fuck, and yeah. then because that's what everyone did back that's then. That's all you could do. And then you gave, you like, you were given away to the Mayfields because they needed like an uh-huh. extra farm hand, <laughs> and then now you're married to Maggie. And then yeah. you have seven kids and do the same transaction. Yeah, but we're like still working for the farm hand. And then I walk by hands you hands one day f- down from my kingdom and I'm like, look at you fucking disgusting peasants. Oh, God, here comes the king. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> kneel. Okay. Kneel to me. My oh, sister gosh. and I have a theory about why boys are born versus girls. And it's because the women does the woman doesn't come during that exchange. And that's why oh, and that's you get why a boy. Yeah. Really? And if they both Dude. come, that's how you get people who transition. That's why. <laughs> Science rules. <laughs> no, that's how you get girls. Well, I guess I'm having boys pumped. Pumped? Uh. Yeah, I guess it's not really like the girl came and the guy didn't. It's either like one did or they both did. Yeah. 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 Science. Yeah. 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 Like I said, if we're not coming, it's not even sex. You know, what are we doing here? Yeah. Have you ever faked it before, Brandon? No. Yeah, it's hard to fake as a dude. Yeah. You've I- never faked it? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I do the whole thing, too. I'm fucking Broadway. Oh! <laughs> you know? Do you wear condoms every time? So it's like she can't tell. I don't think I've worn a condom since like '97. <gasps> yeah, that was the year I was born. Yeah, Stop. are you my dad? <laughs> I know. Are you my dad? <laughs> yeah. I don't, yeah. Uh, wait, what, what were we talking about? Like I had it. faking an orgasm. Yeah, never. I've never. Done. Have you done that? I'm sure you've had yeah. to as a girl. Yeah. yeah. Had to. <laughs> get the gotta get the fuck. I gotta get the fuck out of there. You know what know. the worst seven, is? Let me tell seven, you what the worst seven. thing is. Is like when it's going for so long. <laughs> And you're like, I'm done. I finish. I'm done. And then you're like, how do we get out of this now? Like, I don't want to yeah. keep going. You roll over. So you go, like, oh, I got a cramp. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I, that's the hard part is like, how do, what do you say? Like, are you, did you come? Did you come? Are you, fit? Yeah. are you, um, yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's the performance. Yeah. I usually just go, did you come? And she's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, me neither. <laughs> you want a sandwich? <laughs> Sounds fun. It's like a good time, dude. Brian has a yeah, good time. I'm good time, at sex, apparently. you know. I know what I'm doing here. All like, right. Well, do you? I would love to talk to these ladies that you've slept with. I would not. We should start bringing them on here. I know. I kind of, I kind of want that. That's actually a pretty good idea. Yeah. So you we got. Just bring them on so you were here. lonely at the club last night, and you decided to bang Brian for one percent of his company. How many Tito sodas were you drinking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for one percent of his company. We just have like a bunch of other like like man whores who sit in as the panel, and they're just like, "Oh, girl, you deserve we better." We can we can bring Me. in some of like some <laughs> yeah. of the dudes that I've been on dates with. Yeah. 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 You should invite Diamond Bracelet guy. No. No. Come on. No, that's too scary. Come on. I don't want to have to look at him through the monitor. I, <laughs> just through the monitor. I got to look at his face. Come yeah. on. Yeah, that dude. is rough. We should. You got to wear shades that episode. The blind man shades. You got your eyes worked on? Just the whole time. Just... Yeah, and like kind of look like above both of them. So they're, they're just like, what's happening? Looking, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you fucking peasant. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah. Dude, we should bring some of the girls I've taken on dates here. Mm-hmm. That'd be fucking crazy, huh? I just want to talk to him. I just sit here quiet. I just want to know what's wrong with them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can tell you. <laughs> what's wrong with them? I've identified all of their problems. <laughs> <laughs> Are you therapist you. now? Yeah. Yeah, we're Brian just saying perceptive, you know. You know. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, what is it about you that's attracting crazy, crazy, crazy? Me? Yeah. Is that I'm a fucking dirty slut? Wow. So I just go for crazy, you know. <laughs> like, That's the volition that you said that with. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm a dirty slut. <laughs> yeah, what else, yeah, what else we, you think I'm gonna find a nice girl and just fuck, You will when you're ready. And just fuck her up, you know? Well. I had this I had this lady tell me, uh the therapist lady, she told me that uh my thing is making people making women fall in love mm-hmm. and then leaving them. Mm-hmm. I was like No. What? What? That's crazy. That, who would who would do that? Probably you. That's pretty narcissistic of one, huh? Is that important to you? What? Yeah, I, no, I don't know. Do you like to make girls fall in love with you? That's already, I feel like that's crazy. How are you going to make someone fall in love with you? I don't know. Apparently, I do it all the time. Do you like doing it? 
I don't do it on purpose. Oh, you don't do it on purpose? No. Yeah, that'd be crazy if you did it on purpose. Huh? I should be richer if I do it on purpose. Yeah, dude. Fucking diamond bracelet. Get us a boat, Maggie. Yeah. Come on. Get get us a boat. Yeah, because we're friends. So you need you need friends to help on the boat, you know? <laughs> I, guess, I guess so. You know? Well, I guess so. Who's going to be the fucking water ski instructor? Uh, apparently the guy that I'm sleeping with to get you cool stuff. Thank you. Is that what this exchange is? Why not? Is? Fucking pirate life. Dude. Oh, Take everything you can get. Give nothing back. Holidays are hard. They're Don't not that settle. Hard. Don't settle. They're not that hard. Just fucking watch a Polar Express. All right, you know? and hang out with me <laughs> and watch Ted nine. Lasso again while I eat cake. And I will. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't get mad when you fall in love with me. All right. Yeah, that's a bonding thing to watch Ted Lasso. Yeah, with we hot did, chocolate though. with yeah, a fire. It's like soul bonding. Fucking wearing dim the lights a little bit. Dim the lights. Okay crazy dude. that's why we're friends though yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that's why we're friends to yeah watch ted lasso together and bond and drink hot chocolate and snuggle <laughs> i do that with all my friends me and brandon do it all the time so it'll be, right. be fine it'll be fine here it'll be all right yeah <laughs> can we time. play the card game i never get to play it sure yeah. you want to play the card i always game? feel left yeah. out it looks fun i don't think i fully understand I what think it's it is in my purse Brian never dig through a lady's purse. It's rude. I just told him he could. She might have a Glock in there. That'd be fucking sweet. Oh, what the, I thought that was her purse. I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, don't don't throw it over the cameras. Good, good. Dude, oh, look at it. that, guys. We did Teamwork. that so efficiently. Dream work. Did. It was Maggie's idea. I was going to All right, so this shit. game is called Ladies' Night Personal Questions, a game of fascinating topics and conversation. <laughs> Players take turns rolling dice and asking the group personal questions from the game cards the person asking the question accepts the, first the only two one that doesn't answers. Know the game. i know <laughs> <laughs> even maybe the people watching he's only been game. watching it. <laughs> yeah. maybe yeah. there's new listeners dude and they don't understand the game sorry i'm trying to fill people in because i believe that new people are coming to this podcast god forbid welcome to the podcast i believe in this podcast i'm happy you guys know the rules now we don't have dice. I'm so, so glad to hear dice. that, Brian or Brandon. Thank you. Of course. So what do I do with this? I just read them. You guys just pick, yell pick at me. Pick a, one. Just pick a card and then like pick one of the number, the questions you want to answer. Oh, uh, this one's fun. What fairy tale figure do you most resemble? Ariel. <laughs> yeah, that's Race, a good one racism. for you. Racism. Only because I have red hair. By the yeah, way, hair? that's yeah. the worst Disney movie. But I, is there any other red hair? Like you can yeah, be Rapunzel, but you don't Mer have like crazy long hair. Merida. Is uh, the curly haired one? My niece has very curly hair, and so kids tease her. They call her Merida, and she goes, "I hate that movie." I'm like, "Why?" From Brave? Yeah, that one's cool. That one's a cool one. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I said too, and she was like, "I hate Merida." I'm like, okay. You kind of give me more of that vibes because she's more like kind of badass, and the Little Mermaid's kind of like a little bitch. Kind of yeah, bitch. I agree. She just does what her dad she doesn't even says. talk the whole goddamn movie. She just sings. You know? We get it. She, but she sings at the end. She don't even talk for half the movie. Oh yeah, you're right. Why In the beginning she talk? and the end, she sings. She, because she, she traded her voice to kiss a boy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but that was the only example that I had growing up. So it was either that or Princess Jasmine, and I was like, "That's cultural that was appropriation." Your, that yeah. was the ginger's representation right there, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a little merm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Nice. What about you, Brian? Is Shrek a fairy tale? Stop! <laughs> I don't mean that in a mean way. Shrek's a, gay char a great character. You're just Bro, like big I and rough. I quote Shrek all the time. All it's the amazing, time. but yeah. you were exactly like Shrek. Oh, you sure think you that's my big. representation I was, of I Shrek? I was like, I'm not like Donkey, <laughs> but I was like your Donkey, where you you were like, stop saying you love me, stop being yeah, 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 vulnerable, yeah, yeah. stop saying these things yeah, yeah. to me, and then here I'd be like, stop saying that, you'd be like, Brian. You're like a parfait. Everyone loves parfait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then one day you pissed on our couch and we became close enough that... Uh... Is that when it happened for you guys? No, no. It was before Oh, that. I was going to say. Otherwise I would have fought him. You can't piss <laughs> yeah. on my couch if you don't love oh, me. Oh, okay. Okay. Wonderful lights in here, huh? I love the decorations. <laughs> Beautiful decorations. I like Shrek. Shrek, that's good. Yeah, well, Kronk. Kronk. That's, that's not even a Disney movie, though. <gasps> Kronk is my favorite. That's a Pixar movie. That's yeah, what's a, it though. says fairy tale. What's a fairy, uh, fairy tale? tale. He, he's literally yeah. in fairy tale land. He has yeah. to count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He fairy tale is like yeah. Goldilocks and the Three Bears oh, or like really? Hansel and Gretel. Oh, really? I thought those were tall tales. My bad. Wow. Yeah. Sorry, my childhood was rough. All right. Join my dad told me club. stories about Crips and Bloods. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Like he knew them Why personally. you shouldn't do drugs, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, my favorite was Hercules or Aladdin. Mm, yeah. yeah, favorite Disney movies. Hell yeah. Yeah, I liked Aladdin because he's a little street rat. He's so cool. He was very cool. Yeah. I used to record <laughs> that rat, movie. Yeah. I used to record it on my little like Walkman, whatever, and then I would listen to the whole thing in bed. That would—that's exactly what I would do as a kid. I would listen. Nice. 
My first album was the Eight Mile Eminem, so I used to go to sleep to that. Me too. Really? Later, yeah. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, like cool. my first apartment by myself. Oh wow, yeah. I was like seven. But <laughs> 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 I was seven. I was so jealous of you. I was like, dude, I want to be her. She's so cool. She has her own apartment, you know. At seven. Yeah. Oh, meatloaf for dinner. All right, mom. You know. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. What yeah. about you, Brandon? What? Who's I was reading this question. Fairy Sorry. tale, fairy tale. My favorite fairy tale? No, no, no. The one that you represent. The one that I most resemble? I thought we were deciding each other's. Oh, that's oh. even yeah, more You know fun. what I mean? I called right. you Shrek. Yeah. I gave you right. the brave. Brandon. Mm. <laughs> you are like a Prince Charming. Thanks. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But like the Prince Charming and Shrek. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going with that. Yeah. You are I, I also in Shrek's my too. movie. The, short, right? yeah. the short prince? Is that what you're talking about? No, that's Farquaad. About? That's okay. Farquaad. Farquaad. He's in Shrek too. The like yeah. douchebag one and the second yeah, yeah. one that's like, ma- that's the Mommy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. I like that one. I don't know. Yeah. That, yeah. That's a pretty good one. I can mm-hmm. only really sh- think of Shrek characters now that I set a Shrek Shrek at the start. There's just mm-hmm. not a lot of dudes either in fairy tales. Well, it's you know? kind of like the handsome prince, which is like, uh, you know, you're like, uh, I'm yeah. not going to call you that. But then it's like, there's yeah. not a lot of other unless you're like, like, I, like, could I be Captain Hook and Peter Pan? No, I'm, that's too. Couldn't evil. be Peter Pan. Couldn't be Peter Pan. No. That's a little boy. He's too little. Yeah. I'm a yeah. grown ass man. Yeah. Bitch yeah. <laughs> yeah. ass Peter. Bitch ass Peter. Not <laughs> so trying to grow up. And pussy. Dresden, you loser. Yeah. yeah. Fucking asshole. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to get America. away. Aren't we all? Shut up, yeah. dude. Yeah. Do you think Dumbo the elephant was male or female? Male. For sure, non binary. <laughs> With Possibly. how sad he was. Yeah. 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 He just did, couldn't find himself. Yeah, I don't know who I am. Or they yeah. couldn't find themselves. Sorry, Dumbo. Everyone's making fun of me all the time. I don't like it. Hmm. Elephants yeah. are pretty smart. They could maybe have like the mental fortitude to pick their gender. Yeah, I feel like, dude, will you pull a video up on elephant shit? I feel like, I, dude, you I say seen elephant like 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 literal elephant yeah, shit yeah, yeah. or Just shit about poops. elephants? Just shit about elephants. I, don't, yeah. I mean, I will because I'm the producer, but I really don't want to look that up. <laughs> just watch an elephant taking a giant deucer. No, just stuff. What elephant. if I look up the size of elephant? Elephant poop size. Bro, I watched a video the day of like a. Like a dog, like fucking up its own puppy. What? Yeah, animals are wild, my guy. Yeah. I've seen like elephants do crazy shit too. Damn, it weighs about an elephant, an adult elephant poo weighs around nine pounds, eight eight pounds. That's wild. How do you know that? It says kilograms on the Uh, screen. There's 2.2 kilograms in a pound. College. It, oh. Honestly, weightlifting is is the way douchier but true answer because yeah. everything's in kilograms <laughs> when you get when you use like rubber weights yeah. in college. Gotcha. You have to do math and shit. It's that hard. sucks. Yeah, yeah, it makes wow. my brain melt. You know, elephants are pregnant for like two years. What? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. What was that lobster question you asked? The lobster question. Yeah, we got to wrap after the, this lobster. All right. Question remember, too. you asked me a question about you think people date like lobsters. Oh, lobsters like mate for like yeah because it. I've been thinking about lobsters a lot yeah, because yeah. apparently the way that they mate is that uh, the male lobster gets picked by the female based on his dwelling. Yeah, where yeah. she could be safest to shed her shell and if that, if that ain't real and make life, babies. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I was like, yeah, yeah, people are like lobsters. That's how we do it. What do you? We like? gotta complicate it and add Bumble and yeah, just Bumble. You should make a dating app called Lobster. I'm sure they have. It was like a thing on Friends. But the like TV you just show, show pic- oh, yeah, but you right. show yeah. pictures of your house instead yeah. of no pictures of you. You just show pictures of your dwelling. I love that. Like this That's where I good. live. Yeah. That's one, actually one of cool. my pictures is just an air fryer. I don't know who I was talking <laughs> to. An air fryer and an air mattress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the reciprocal is like, are you fertile? Can you make babies? Yeah. She has to show like her test of like yeah, yeah, yeah. my eggs work. Yeah, you got to show us the inside of your fallopian tubes. Make sure they're not. <laughs> Make sure that's there's no cyst. So hey, this is cyst for you. Look at it. Oh, you know? my God. You know, that'd be cool. That's be dude, a million dollar idea. Let's do it. All yeah. Right. You can put like smoking and non smoking for during pregnancies. Yeah. Know there of, we go. You know, person you're getting yeah. into. Yeah. It's like, dude, I can find out if she's from Marlboro's. Appalachia or not. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 23 and me in there. Appalachia. What a Slide funny place. Into my lobster it's like show. where we sent all of our shitty whites, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, good luck. With what? the holidays <laughs> oh yeah right I'd probably call my ex-girlfriend several times you yeah, know? yeah i feel that i feel been reading that. a lot of sad poetry lately getting in my feelings all right cynthia plath no sylvia plath no Tavatsky. oh yeah i would put my 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 blanket over my head oh wow so i feel safe 
You burn a candle under there too? No, that's dangerous. Good. Yeah, but I do have a bottle of lotion just in case. You Stop know. it. I've been sleeping next to my lotion. Um, <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> he's just been like spooning i just it. love making it fucking weird you know uh, uh hey we want to help you decipher your dms email us at slide at gmail.com or you can follow us on any of the social medias at slide in pod i've been maggie mayfield i'm brian thank you for watching Bye. Bye.